Hey there everybody, here we are for the next preview video. Um, the film we're going to be watching this particular module is going to be Metropolis, which is a 1927 picture, 1926, 1927. First off, I apologize if you hear a bunch of noise and stuff. There's like a party going on next to me and this is when I could film. So I apologize if you hear a bunch of kids kind of running around and screaming and yelling. Um, again, back to Metropolis. The director of this film was Fritz Lang. Fritz Lang is a German um, director, a very well-known director. Um, he's, he worked in what is called German Expressionism. So that is kind of a film movement that took place in the 1910s, 1920s in Germany, okay? Um, and it has a uh, very distinct kind of stylistic things that um, they incorporate in their movies. Um, this is not a sync sound movie, so this is still a silent picture. Um, typically what would happen before sync sound came about, where the sound and the picture were together, is that there would be an organist playing um, music while people watch the film in the theater. So it was actually live music in the theater being played while people are watching the film, right? So that's what you're going to see here. The soundtrack that you see isn't sound that was recorded into the movie, like laid down in with it. It was actually probably being played live and then somebody added it later on um, when all that became more the norm, okay? Um, this is elaborate um, vision of our future world by Fritz Lang. Okay, that's what we're going to be looking at. This is a very like futuristic look at what could be um, if we continue down the path we're going on based on what Fritz Lang was thinking at the time, right? So again, this is 1920s. Um, it's definitely considered a pioneer film in the science sci-fi sci um, genre. Okay, so there really was no sci-fi genre, so to speak, pre-1920s. This film is kind of the um, benchmark for everybody when it comes to sci-fi. Uh, all sci-fi films kind of build from this movie called Metropolis, which is one of the reasons why we're looking at it, because it's this kind of groundbreaking, pioneering type film, especially for 1927. Um, the film is set in a futuristic urban dystopia. The storyline follows the attempt of Frieder, the wealthy son of the city ruler, the person who rules Metropolis, um, and a girl named Maria, uh, she's a poor worker, and they're trying to overcome the vast gulf and separation between the classes in the city, right? So the, the huge gap between the haves and the have-nots, okay? So this is 1927, and they're talking about, we're going to be watching a movie about a story that really dives into um, the difference between the haves and the have-nots. We still deal with that now. It's 2022. It's 100 years later. And this is still something that we see movies getting made, like having this as their subject matter, all right? Um, one of the more famous ones, although it's still a few years old, it's not like 2022. I think it's 2019. But um, Parasite, one of its themes looked at the haves and the have-nots and how they deal with each other. So it's still something that's a running theme today, okay? Um, back then, when this film came out, this is between World War One and World War II, right? So the, the economical and political aftermath for Germany after World War I led to this like hyperinflation, revolts on the streets, and a general sense of anxiety and dissatisfaction with the ruling power in Germany, right? So Germany had to pay a large amount of reparations to um, the rest of the world because of what they did in World War I. And that's what caused this hyperinflation and really down economy. So the people of Germany really didn't have um, like a great outlook on the future for themselves um, back in this in the 1920s, right? So this is the kind of film that kind of dives into kind of the fears and things that people had at the particular time. But instead of looking at it in current time, right? No one wanted to look at a film about the despair currently going on uh fritz lang said it in the future so that it's just kind of a place that we could be if we don't kind of get things under control kind of thing okay so this film explores the decadence of the modern city as well as the inequalities and the social problems that exist beneath kind of the glossy surface of that pretty city right um the city of metropolis based on fritz lang's interpretation is really built literally on the inequality of how people are treated right so you're going to see that explored in this film okay to lang the city of the future was synonymous with exploitation corruption and greed okay so he was all about kind of um, fighting for the common person right so the 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 movie follows frieder 
And he's one of the one percenters of the day, right? And so he doesn't really know how the rest of the world works and how the rest of the city works until he gets to peek into that world and, you know, is very shocked by what's going on, right? So that's something that we're going to be looking for, okay? Um, themes that get uh, explored in this movie would be things like poverty, conflict, and fear of the future, right? So pay attention and look for those themes as you watch the story. I know it's a silent picture. It's a full-length feature film, so it's a little bit long, uh, especially when you're not used to watching this style of film. But just kind of pay attention to what's going on. Um, read the subtitle, like title cards that come up, um, and just kind of try to read what's happening based on um, the actors and what they're doing right? Um, it's definitely a story that's considered, or it's a film that's considered a classic, so it can be understood. It's just it moves a little bit slower than what you're probably used to. So I want you to look for these themes of poverty, um, and especially fear of the future by looking at the, the themes and metaphors that get used in the picture. So as you're watching the movie, these are some of the things I want you to watch for and kind of dive into, because these will be things that you might find on the discussion board and the quiz, okay? How does Frieder see the death of the worker differently than his father? So again, remember, his father is the person who runs Metropolis, and he's somebody who ends up being um, kind of a freedom fighter for the have-nots, okay? So kind of pay attention to that. How do the workers see and react to the death of one of their own? Okay, so that's something that's big when it comes to looking at how the themes play out in this movie, okay? What does the robot represent in the movie? Okay, so remember we talked about the idea of um, the future not being too bright, um, and this is kind of in the end-ish of kind of the industrial revolution. Um, so one of the things that were people were fearful of, not just in Germany but all over the world, was um, losing jobs to like machinery. Um, they were putting in a lot of machines to do um, craft type work, and people were losing their job to machinery. Um, and so even today, we're worried about, you know, um, AI and um, um, jobs being shipped to overseas to other countries for less money, right? Like people will work for less money in different places. So those are still fears we have today. Um, and they were fears that people had in other parts of the world in the 1920s, right? So kind of pay attention to how that robot fits into that theme, the idea of fear of the future and what could happen. And then what role does Frieder play at the end of the movie? So that's important to kind of how this movie plays out. Okay, so pay attention to kind of how the movie plays along. Again, I know it's going to work a little bit slow. It's going to run a little bit slower than you're used to. But there's a lot of great stuff here. Um, again, we're looking at the evolution of filmmaking, the idea of um, storytelling with themes and a storyline and all that good stuff. This is a really a big step up from what we watched in the last module. So take a peek. Hopefully you enjoy. Again, I'm here as a resource for for you. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, sit back, relax, and enjoy Metropolis.